Where does life come from? It's a fundamental question in astrobiology and in science in general. One of the main hypotheses to answer it is the extraterrestrial origin. Indeed, finding extraterrestrial life or traces of life may not just help knowing the origin of life on Earth, but also if life can be found and grow somewhere else. It could also answer to why amino acids, one of the basic components of life, are, on Earth, only laboratory. Laboratory is one of the two forms of a chiral molecule, so a molecule that cannot be superposed on its mirror image. So one good proof to support the hypothesis would be to find at least most of such molecules. How and where to find extraterrestrial life? One of the main hypotheses would be small solar system body in space, like meteoroids, asteroids or comets. Missions such objects were set to search for traces of life like Rosetta in 2014. In this mission, they found, among other molecules, two major traces of life, phosphorus and the amino acid, the glycine. But unfortunately, the glycine is the only non chiral amino acid. However, what can also be studied are meteorites, so small solar system body that landed on Earth. Scientists indeed studied the Machinson meteorite that landed on Earth in 1969 in Australia. They discovered a dozen of amino acids where most of them were laboratory. So, only traces of life were found by now in extraterrestrial samples. Therefore, it is still unclear if either life only come from meteorites or if meteorites are just played a key role by, for example, bringing some of the necessary elements for life. Therefore, other missions such as Rosita can help to find out a little more. This is the case of Hayabusa 2, sent to study the asteroid Raigu and whose samples were returned to Earth in December 2020.